Minecraft came out with updates pre-release 2, 3, and 4. Hello there, Ray here, and let's take a look at everything that's new. So with these pre-release versions, they're focusing on fixing all bugs so that they can come out with the new 1.20.5 full release. But the bugs that they're focusing on fixing are bugs that occurred mostly during this snapshot phase. They won't see too many like old bugs being fixed, but just new ones that happen to pop up during the making of the features that will be coming out with this full release. And because of that, we're not going to see too many changes related to the 1.21 full release. The 1.20.5 full release will come in a week or two, where 1.21 update will come probably around June. And as always, I will be doing a video covering all the things that you should collect and do before updating to the new full release version. Just as a reminder, 1.21 will contain the crafter and everything related to the trial chambers, where 1.20.5 and equivalent bedrock edition will contain the new dogs, the dog armor, armadillos, and all these different technical changes we've been seeing. In pre-release 2, they came out with a new name for this advancement when you would shear off the dog armor from your dog. Before it was called Snippet, which was kind of like a reference to neutering your pets. But I did see some people complain about this, so it's probably better that they change it to this. Sheer Brilliance. A funny play on words. Now when you go between dimensions using the nether portal, notice that the animation for the nether portal will pop up in your face during the transitioning phase rather than the little loading screen that would use to pop up letting you know that you're loading up the new dimension. So now it appears to be more smoother like you're truly transforming from one dimension to the next. Now this same type of animation thing will appear when going into the end dimension except it's the end portal animation that will appear in front of you. And of course when you leave the end dimension this will also pop up when it's part of the credits and it will also pop up for the loading. Horses leather armor will once again protect them from the freezing bits of powder snow when it was broken in a previous snapshot because they moved some stuff around. Armadillos will no longer try to roll up right as they are dying. Since they think they're being attacked they try to roll up and now they just die normally. There was an odd problem where a dog would take damage while wearing the wolf armor would actually be able to continue to eat despite it being full. When putting dog armor into enchanted tables it almost looked like you could enchant it. But dog armor can't be enchanted so they went ahead and removed these enchantments here. When trading with librarians books that have different amounts of components will no longer stack together. Since 1.16 dogs that were wet were too dark and now they look much lighter like before. Breaking a shulker box while it was closing would cause the game to still think that the shulker box was sitting there and was blocking the light underneath, so it wouldn't update the actual light levels underneath of it. Bare blocks which have water inside them will now make the light level underneath of the water to be lower just as if there was a piece of water there. And when it comes to these waterlogged barriers and maps, they'll now show up on the map as actual water. In creative, you can get an identical copy of a container by pick blocking it while holding down the control key. This would normally make these containers that have this plus NBT let you know that there's stuff inside of it. But now this label will no longer be on there as they convert over to using components rather than NBTs. Hopefully there's still an easy way for us to tell when the pick blocking actually worked because sometimes I can end up just getting a normal chest. In creative mode you can now pick block an ominous banner to get an item that looks just like the original. In the last couple snapshots, dropping items from the creative menu would just cause them to instantly vanish, so now you can actually do this to pick them up more easily. When using commands to put horse armor onto dogs, it would look very funny and wouldn't actually render properly. And this type of bug was actually fixed. Now, I know in the past, these type of bugs where people would do very strange things using commands or by using third-party programs would never have gotten fixed. So Minecraft has come a long ways where they're actually fixing these really edge case scenarios. Another odd bug that got fixed was actually people putting cursor binding onto their wolf armor, which you normally can't do in survival, but you can do in creative. And they made it so that this type of armor would work properly. Some commands got some fixes, mostly related to the attribute where you can make stuff really big or small or have it so that the gravity is really strong or weak or how far you can interact with things. With the majority of the bug fixes being more the behind the scene technical changes that introduce new bugs. With the third pre-release fixing in this problem, we couldn't sprint run over top of a single gap in the floor. And fireworks launched from dispensers were going much higher than they did before. Also fixing this problem where different projectiles couldn't actually push stuff like fireballs in the opposite direction. So now you're able once again to deflect them with arrows or like tridents. You also won't run into a fast panorama when leaving your game. 
giving yourself an extreme ominous bottle will no longer cause a crash, and you won't get flashes while adjusting your biome blender. There's also immediate flow between transferring and storing the packets, and much better performance when it comes to item data serialization. Now let's take a look at the latest snapshot which came out today being 1.25 pre-release 4. They accidentally made it so you couldn't punch stationary breeze charges as well as fireballs. So once again you can use my OP looting setup using fireballs as well as my super explosive breeze cannon. The new bog mob was trying to get spawned into swamps even in worlds where you have 1.21 features turned off. So your server console won't get spanned with the failed spawn message. When adjusting your simulation distance, at some settings it wouldn't actually show that it's being saved for the game. But this wasn't actually affecting how far things were occurring, just what it looked like here on the slider. Inviting others to play Minecraft along with me has made the game so much more fun. And you could also experience this by having your very own Minecraft server with the help of Bisect hosting. Through them you can set up a Minecraft server easily and adjust it just the way you like it. I've been using them for many many years and I've been greatly satisfied. So by using code RAY or the link in the description you can get 25% off. Plus this helps me out. Now come watch me build insane farms using the new 1.21 potions over at my Twitch livestreams link in the description. And thanks to all of this month's supporters of mine, by supporting me I'm able to actually design automatic farms machines and share them with the entire Minecraft community all for free. Otherwise you can always help me out just by leaving a like and sharing my videos with others. I'll see you guys all over there, Bye bye!